hello, how are you? Waiting for another session today. I hope you're feeling fine. I hope your shoulders feel great. Um, your core feels ready for a workout because we're going to be focusing mainly on that area today. Okay, so bring yourself around to your seated position. Just be on your sit bones. Pull away the fleshy parts of your pelvis, of your, of your glutes, and just sit right on top of those sit bones. Now, if you've got a band, wrap it around your feet. If you haven't, let's just pretend. I'm going to pretend today. And bring the elbows out so as if they're on tabletops. You're going to lift the chest and you're going to roll yourself down to so take the pelvis back away from your legs. Just bring the elbows back as if you're opening up the chest and squeezing your shoulder blades. And release. And again, open. And release. And again, open. And release. Two more. Open. One more. And come back up. And again, rolling back. Bring the elbows close together, shoulders squeezed, pulling in and up of the abdominals so they're not pooching out. Last one. And coming back up. Now bring your elbows into your waist, thumbs towards the ceiling, roll yourself down. Now bring your thumbs towards your shoulders, going into a bicep curl. So if you've got a band, you're pulling on the bands. So the bands are wrapped around your feet. Two more. Watch those abs, not pushing out. Lifting all the way back up. And again, rolling down. Lengthening through the crown of the head so your chin's not drop down. Two more. Open collarbone. And then rolling back up. Now we're going to roll out to one side. Take the elbow to the floor. Open up the arm on the other side. So you're pulling that band, coming back up. Other side. Open up the band, pull towards the floor. So if you haven't got the band, you're trying to work with resistance. If you're really pulling, slowly coming back up, as if you're resisting coming back up. And again, to the other side, open. Now just exhale. Inhale, come back up. And exhale. And inhale, come back up. Breathing out, open up the chest. Turning from the rib cage. Allow the pelvis to stay steady. Your knees stay in line with your hips. Don't let them come together. Last one on each side. Come back to the centre position. Roll yourself down. Control. 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 Tucking under so the back's on the floor. Come all the way down. Stay long in the waist. Picking up the feet. Arms on the floor. Drop the knees to one side. Opposite shoulder stays down. Change sides. And again, shift. And shift. Two more on each side. Always focusing on the shoulders. Breathing out as you twist, breathing in as you come back up, breathing out as you twist. Now if your knees are practically touching the floor, straighten the legs. And that just adds a little bit of extra weight as you twist. Come back to your centre position. Press the back of the head and the shoulders into the mat. Lift your tailbone off the floor. Come back up. Bring your knees towards your shoulders. Got an itchy nose. Going into reverse curl. Pressing everything on the upper body into the floor. Breathing out as you lift. Inhale, come back down. Exhale. Inhale, come back down. Exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale. And inhale, hold on to your thighs, drop the chin in towards the chest, start to roll yourself up, lifting the upper body, opening up the collarbone, lifting the feet. Take a breath in, roll yourself back, exhale, come back up, and inhale, and exhale. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, 
the hands underneath the calves, take the feet a little bit away from each other, straighten the legs a little bit more, and back you go. Don't move your legs. Exhale, roll back onto your shoulders, looking towards your navel or towards your knees, so the head's not back. If you want to challenge yourself further, straighten the legs. Woohoo! <laughs> with uh, tight hamstrings. This is a tricky one. I'm going to keep my knees bent. <laughs> Last one. Rolling up, staying steady, lift your chest a little bit higher, drop your shoulders, lengthen one leg away, come back in, lengthen the other leg away, come back in, and again, And relax the feet, come over into the middle of the mat, <clears throat> take one hand down to the floor, take the leg out to the side. This hand can stay here on the seam of your trousers or take it up by the side of your head. And make sure your foot is in line with your knee, it's not out there and it's not in there. So you've got a nice straight line. Lengthen through the crown of the head as if you're trying to push the wall away and lengthen through from your hip all the way down to the toe. Lift the leg, which one goes high as your hip. Come back down, try not to collapse in on yourself. And again, lift and release. And lift and release. Two more, lift. Last one, we're gonna hold it up there. Flex the foot, kick forward, point the foot, take it back. Flex the foot, come forward, point the toe, take it back. Three more, pushing through, pointing back. Keeping the ribs down on your hips and arching the back. Shoulders. Last one. Come back to centre, give me five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse, watch your head's not coming forward. One, two, three, four, five. Come into child's pose for a moment, stretch it out. Reach forward with your fingers, slide your shoulders down your back. Hands coming towards you. Roll yourself up, come onto your other side. Hand to the floor, foot in line with your knee. Reach through the crown of your head so you're not coming forward. Remember your head weighs about 10, 11 pounds. If it's forward of your midline, it's extra weight to cope with for your shoulders and your back. Okay, lift and lower. Doesn't matter if you can only go a little bit off the floor, that's fine. So we're aiming for your, as high as your hip, but don't worry if you can't get there. We just need to strengthen these glutes a little bit. Not a problem. Get the core working. Reach that wall away. Push that wall away with the crown of your head. Next one, stay up there. Flex the foot, bring it forward. Point the toe, sweep it back. And again, there's your number two. Three more. Move that foot as if you're drawing a line. Last two, body stay still. Last one, hold it center, five circles. Drawing a circle with your heel. Come back the other way. Two, three, four, five, relax. Child's pose, <laughs> very good. And roll yourself back up. Oh, bring the feet to one side, hold on to the ankle, reach over, release, other side, reach over, soften both elbows, coming back up and reach, down towards your feet, really stretch from your rib cage all the way over as if you're trying to pull the rib cage out of your hip bone. And release, reach over the other side, soften the elbows. Bring the legs out in front, arms out wide, take the, heart, the arms towards one side and reach for your little finger towards your little toe. The other hand reaches towards the wall behind you with the palm facing upwards. Coming back up, lift, reach, little finger towards the little toe, reach long behind you. 
Now if you can do this with straight legs, go ahead, as long as you're not slumping here. So stay long in the waist, try not to collapse into your waist, so you stay lifted as you reach. So you reach here from the middle of the rib, from the ribs in the middle of the back. Reach and lengthen and you feel the hamstrings on the back of the thighs getting a stretch, especially if you flex the feet. Lengthen. So this is like a stretch in opposition. Your feet are going this way, your hands twisting and lengthening and the hand behind you, imagine someone's got hold of it and they're pulling you back as you're reaching away. Get a lovely stretch into the lats. Come back up, reach and lengthen. Staying lifted as if you've got a beach ball on your thighs and you're trying to reach over it because it's in the way. So we're not slumping down. Reach and lengthen. Lovely. One more on each side. So if you feel a little bit tight in the legs, soften the knees. Last one. Chest bone towards the knee and reach. Lovely. Bring those feet around to the side. Hold on to the ankles. Reach over. Come back up and relax. Other side. And reach. Hold on to the ankles. Reach over. Keep breathing all the way into the side of the rib cage as if you're trying to stretch the ribs from the hip. Other side, relax, reach over. And release. Come over onto your hands and knees. Knees underneath your hips, hip bone distance with your knees, hands under your shoulders, forwards with your hands and your feet, one side, opposite side. I've got my right hand and my left leg, float. Take them out to the side, bring them down and across and up, as if you're drawing a square. Out, down, across and up. One more on that side, staying steady with your centre. Relax, change sides. And float, take them out, down, across and up and out, down across and up. Head stays in line with your spine, don't drop your head. And release. Let's go one more on the other side. Don't forget how heavy your head is. If it drops, your shoulders will start to lift off your ribcage. You really want to strengthen these shoulder blades by staying lifted with the head. Out to the side, down, across. Two more on that side. Keep pushing your breastbone up towards the ceiling. Wrap the shoulder blades around you and release. Other side, long spine, float. Watching your hips stay level. And relax. Child's um, cat stretch, arching the back. Slowly push the tailbone away, slide the shoulders back, look up in front of you, and again, drop the tailbone down. As soon as you get to about your heart line, then start to drop the head. And then pushing the tailbone back, get to the heart line, and then start to move the head. Let's do one more, rolling through. You feel that rippling effect through the spine. And release it. Coming all the way back up, shake out your wrists, get rid of any tension, circle them around in one direction, and then come back, and again circle, and come back the other way. Shake them out as if you're shaking water off them, take them behind the back, push away, open up the chest, take them around in front, push away, tuck under, drop the chin. Lift the hands up towards the ceiling, grab hold of your right wrist and lean over towards your left hand side. Come back to centre, change wrist, push towards the ceiling and lean over towards the other side. Come back to centre, reach with the ceiling and push away, really reach long with the arms. Take the right hand up towards the ceiling, point to the ceiling with your finger, start to draw a little circle on the wall, on the ceiling. But really reach, not just a little pathetic little circle, lengthen. 
So if you've got um, an energy force coming out of your finger, it's really got to touch that ceiling. So you're feeling it circle deep inside your arm. Now start to make the circle bigger. We open up the chest. Try and touch the wall behind you. So you're going for 10 circles. And when you've done 10, reverse, come back the other way, open up the chest. You can do this standing, which is fine. And when you start to, when you've done 10, start to make the circle smaller and take it up towards the ceiling and draw 10 circles on the ceiling with intention. Go for it. And then change sides. Reach 10 small circles. Start to make the circle bigger. And then open up the circle, open up the chest, take it all the way behind you. And then reverse it when you've done 10, come back the other way. You might feel a bit of crunching going on, just getting those muscles working, opening up the chest, get the shoulder moving. And take it towards the ceiling. Little 10 circles, really reach through your finger. And then relax. You feel more open now in the chest, the blood flow moving, just kind of takes some space in the shoulder. And just gently slide the shoulder blades together and down your back. Turn the head to the right, keep the chin level, and to the left. And to the right, <coughs> and to the left. One more on each side. And come back to centre. Just drop the ear to the shoulder and then to the other side. Two more. Bring your hands in towards your chest, so your thumbs on your sternum, on your breastbone, and your nose is in line with your fingers. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. <clears throat> A fog in my throat. Deep breath in and exhale. Breathing deeply. Allow all those negative thoughts to release from your mind. All your worries about anything related to work or money or family. Just for a moment, pause the button. Just press that pause button. Allow yourself just to focus on nothing else but your breath. It's the only thing that stays constant without ever changing. You'll always be breathing. Until it's time for you to pop your clogs, obviously. But we don't want to talk about that right now. Do something with some good intention today. Make somebody feel happy. If you kind of if you're in a big family or if you take turns to make the tea with your other half and it's not your turn, but he's feeling a bit or she's feeling a bit grumpy, you think, oh well, I'll just I'll do it, that's fine. Don't argue about it because it's not your turn to do it. Just feel gratitude and love and just get on and do it yourself. No excuses about anything, no worries. Just be you. Without any explanation for anything. And just be kind and loving. A 
deep breath in. Push the hands together as you breathe out and push them up to the ceiling. Now watch them go. Breathe in, push them away. Let them just rest lightly on the floor. And then slowly open your eyes. And thank you for joining me today. If you get time, please repeat the session. And if not, don't beat yourself up about it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, be well, drink lots of water, eat lots of green veg, just like your mum used to tell you to do. <laughs> and whoever does what their mum tells them to do. Apologies to my mum. I love you very much. I'm um, sorry I didn't listen to you when I was younger. <laughs> Um, which doesn't mean to say you can't change um, and even if somebody has really annoyed you or you feel anger or disappointment towards them doesn't mean to say they can't change for the better give them a chance maybe you can help and show them the way love and light to you take care and I'll see you in the next session thank you for joining me see you soon